Long time no Pytrax video. Today is the day that I'll post another Pytrax video because I've done quite a lot, even a lot, even though if one does not immediately immediately see it. Well, perhaps I should start again. No, perhaps not. Anyway, uh, Pytrax. I'm just going through the stuff that is obvious right now. And this is, well, obviously the Pytrax, and this is the usual start menu as you know it. Um, I changed the menu uh, that you can always, uh, that you can just load one emulator and you do not uh, see which emulator it is or uh, what, what's, what's behind the scenes. So there, there. Oh, oh well, uh, I'm just going to start. This is the Vectrex menu as before. You go down, Vector Blade and uh, Speedy Vectrex, uh, Exact Vectrex and the Demos. This is exactly the same, nothing changed there. Then there is a arcade menu. This sort of changed because when I go down now, then you have all Atari uh, machines in the first category, the Cinematronics in the second, Sega in the third and other arcades. Other arcades is, I think, just one. It's Omega Race because it's Williams and Williams. Well, it's, it's, I think it's the only Williams uh, vector game we have. Um, then there's a new menu. This is supposed to be a computer. Uh, under this menu, all the uh, ported games that were written for computers are uh, uh, ordered in now. So if I go down, then it's Z Blast, Hyperoids. The, uh, the basics, uh, GS Basic, the Elite, uh, Vector War, uh, World War VI, I mean, what is it called? Uh, anyway, uh, this one here, uh, and uh, the Battle Zone 2 from uh, Peter Hirsch Hirschberg. And then uh, the, the films that were always available, nothing changed there, and the audio, the also only demos, nothing changed there either. So. Uh, uh, well, and the settings, but they did not change either. So, arcade, arcade. Now, within the Atari emulators, there's first Star Wars. This is SPT. This is a um, um, static binary translation. Then Asteroids, Battle Zone, Black Widow, Red Baron, Lunar Lander, Gravita, Space Duel, Tempest, Major Havoc, Asteroids Deluxe, Quantum. These are all the Atari emulators. Then Cinematronics, this is of course Tail Gunner, Speed Freak, Armor Attack, Boxing Bugs, Demon, Rip Off, uh, Space Wars, I think Space Wars is not working right now correctly, perhaps I, I throw that out because uh, what are you to do with emulators that do not work yet. Uh, Star Castle, uh, Sundance, War of the Worlds, Barrier, Solar Crest, Starhawk, Warriors, or, uh, where was Armor Attack? It was right in the beginning. Here I, I can just uh, I just start it, and I can show you um, Graham Toll added virtual overlays. As you can see, this um, when I start the game, you can uh, well you, you see the the labyrinth, labyrinth of thoughts and uh, can oh well, well that was stupid. No, but anyway, you, you can see what I mean. Uh, usually the, the the map is only on the overlay of the arcade machine, and this one is yeah well it's it's added now. Uh, same thing goes for Warrior, but it's not quite so impressive because there are just two squares on the screen. And if you go into these squares, then well you fall into the bottomless pit and uh, tsk, game over, or, or at least you one death. Um, new to you will be mainly the new Star Wars implementation. I put some work into that uh, because I wanted to make it playable and uh, well I think within the range of the Pytrax or the Vectrax I think it's quite playable now. Um, the sound is not correct but you can uh, read my rant about sound uh, at my pages, uh, I'm not going into that yet now. Uh, perhaps later, if I'm feeling ranting, rantingly, rain, ranting, 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 I don't know. Anyway, Star Wars, you see, I reduced the graphics a little bit. There are only five high score entries shown, 
and the coin status is not shown and the uh, copyright is not shown so this is displaying fine now um, the star wars scrolling with the text this is going to flicker quite a lot because i did not want to shorten the text here but uh, yeah well i i, I think it's, it's still bearable um, as you can see the stars in the background there used to be quite many stars i think 50 stars um, these are only five stars right now i reduced the stars quite a lot it's, it's i think it's not so important but uh, yeah well um some sacrifices had to be made this text uh, is programmed uh, such a way that only six lines at once are displayed now so the flicker is also bearable here uh, and the same goes for the instructions that that follow uh, the scoring table that follows um, yeah well anyway I'm going to start the game so you can see what happens then uh, this is the intro screen uh, with Star Wars I think it's it's not the vector tracks with Star Wars you have to pull push the joystick into one direction for quite a lot of time uh, bef uh, I think there's internally some uh, mechanism that centers the analog stick so uh, um, as you can hear I added sounds but these sounds are sounds I had lying around these are not specifically made for this and they are not uh, the real Star Wars sounds uh, quite obviously but I hate doing sounds and I will never do sounds and if you want to have better sounds well give me some sounds uh, and sounds preferable uh, as PSG sounds for the uh, as for the, uh, uh, the PSG chip that's inside the Vectrex. Otherwise, uh, it will sound terrible. Uh, actually, the voice that you hear it's uh, emulated. These are no samples that I loaded from this. These are emulated uh, with a speech chip of the. Uh, yeah, with the original arcade machine. The explosion of the star uh, of the Death Star I reduced quite a bit because there were over 2,000 vectors uh, in the original, and well, uh, the poor vectrex. Uh, I, I, yeah, hmm. <laughs> poor vectrex. I reduced that a, a little bit. Um, Yes, I'm just going to play on a, a little bit so you see the, the other stage. Um, uh, Darth Vader is somewhere. I have you now. Yes, there, there is. There. That's not him. Uh, as you can see, the stars in game, there are, I think I configured 20 now. Uh, usually these are also 50. I reduced them also to gain a little bit of speed. I, I think 20 is, is, is enough for, for the effects, but uh, yeah, well, you can. Uh, actually, all the things uh, I do for optimization can be configured in the INI file. You can configure in the INI file how many stars you want to display. You can uh, configure if you want to display the copyright or not. You can configure figure how many lines of text should be d displayed uh, and so on so um, you can have the complete original experience or, or you can use the reduction re reductions I uh, introduced but you are not forced to there's uh, one um, optimization that I have not enabled within this game now you can also disable the cockpit this means you can disable the, the uh, the guns uh, on the lower half of the screen where the lasers uh, emit from um, this also uh, well some uh, uh, gains some speed uh, anyway I'm, I'm going to, to die now and uh, the second trench I, I always <laughs> do terrible because I'm too stupid to go in between these uh, these uh, things here It 
it's not a very impressive explosion, I know. Get me a better one and it'll do it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end my Star Wars experience here now. Uh, what else is there new? Actually, the rest is not very new at all. I changed a little bit here and there. I showed you the armor attack and the warrior. Battle zone has now a little additional sound for the engine, but it's it's very very soft, so you can barely hear that sound. Uh, I didn't look at any of the other emulators yet. Um, there are addition. This uh, world. World War VI is new, I showed you that before. I can uh, go into it just uh, for a short demo. Uh, this is using completely uh, digitized sound uh, samples at the moment. Uh, the PSD chip is not used at all because I didn't make any sound and I didn't reuse any sounds. This was a test run uh, for uh, digitized uh, sounds with uh, mixing within uh, the Vectrex library. Uh, it sounds quite awful, but uh, I never came back to it to actually implement sounds. And uh, well, as you hear my ranting about sounds, I need someone to do sounds. Um, yeah, the game, this is uh, the, the, the intro, it can actually be played. And I have, <laughs> I think, as of yet, now, now it started. Uh, I has, have as of yet uh, only once or twice finished actually the first level. Uh, what you have to do is uh, fly from the left to the right uh, uh, and at the end of uh, the screen, well, then comes the next, so, so to say. Um, yeah. Mm. Anyway, that was World War VI and this battle zone actually looks Hmm. Ah, I didn't compile it in. Uh, anyway, uh, with the release I will uh, have that uh, in. But uh, it looks more or less, I think, exactly like the original Battlezone. The only difference I see is that with the movement of the tank, uh, the screen slightly shakes as if the... Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, as if the player is moving uh, himself. And the explosions have, uh, I think, a little bit more particles than in the original. Uh, but I didn't do any sounds for that yet either. So um, it's playable, but without sound. So that's what the user sees um, uh, for the changes. I programmed quite a bit. What you see right now is a Pytrax version 1, Py0. Pi zero zero, or whatever. Um, I can insert now a pi zero two, and you can see that it's not faster. And uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video uh, when I show it to you. Man, I wish I could insert the card. Uh, one moment. This is not as easy as it might look. Um, I don't know if you can discern it uh, in, in the video, but it's slightly more flicker or, or disturbances uh, during gameplay. Uh, within action gameplay, you will probably not. Do oh no! Ah, shit! One moment. One moment. This is going to. Oh, and it's also dark here, yeah, you can't see anything. The thing is, the Pi Zero does not do what it's expected to do. And what I expected to do is that one could use uh, one SD card for both the for both Pi's. But right now it does not allow that. You have to change one setting in the config.txt file. Um, because the filter mechanism does not work as documented. So you have to change which kernel it loads and this is changed by yeah, well, changing the config text that uh, file. So now I changed uh, it from Pytrax 
dot image to PyTrack 7 dot image and now it will boot up in with a Py02. Uh, well, yes, uh, hmm. since you are probably not seeing any difference, I'm just going to start anything and show you this is now the Py02. Vector Blade is still running. Yeah, uh, well, uh, what did I say? Still running. Um, interesting might be Star Wars, but it looks exactly the same. It feels the same. It's exactly the same speed. Perhaps. Can you see? I can't even see the slight flicker that usually accompanies it. So. Yeah, uh, uh, to me it looks exactly the same. Yeah, well, uh, that was uh, one major under undertaking also to, well, make the thing runnable on the Pi Zero 2. Um, yeah, I think nothing else is new. I will soon upload the new images and you might try them, give comments and do some sounds for me. Thank you and goodbye. The force look.